Let's take a look at um, creating a factorial method. So we're going to file a new project. And uh, another example. Factorial method. And uh, I'm going to bring bring in a number in the text box. And we do a label and a text box. We've got our button. And then we have our label for the two labels for the answer. Okay. So I'm going to select all those. I'm going to come choose font. And then change this to 20. Click outside of that. button here and the button I'll have it say uh, calculate factorial I would just have it say factorial okay and this will have it say as a number In this text box, I'll give it a name, tb underscore num. In this text box, I'm going to have it, um, or label, I should say. I'll have it read answer. Let's catch my eye here. Okay. I'm going to give this label a name. I'll call it a LB underscore answer. And I'll make it invisible. So I'll set visible equals false. There we go. When I click this factorial, then I want it to pass in a number and calculate the factorial. Okay, so I need to bring in the, the factorial. So INT fact. And I need my answer too comma answer. So fact is going to equal to uh, int dot parse and I bring in tb num dot text. Okay. Now I'm going to call a method. So I come up here, I need to declare a method. It'll be private. It's going to be an int that I'm going to return and uh, call this calculate factorial. Uh, pass in my number. So int num. Now you do not have to name this the same as uh, down below. Down below I call this fact. What don't we pass in here? I'm calling it num. And beginning curly bracket, closing curly bracket. And I'm going to have um, int my answer is equal to 1. Doesn't like calculate factorial. What doesn't it like about that? Now I'll, I'll return a value. Okay, never mind. It just recognizes I haven't finished my um, code yet. Now say for int x equals one. I'm going to continue while x is less than or equal to my num. And then I'll say x plus pl x is equal to x plus one. To increase the value each time. And then I'll say my answer is equal to answer times num, times x. And then I'm going to return my answer. Now down here, I'm going to say answer is equal to, um, and I want to call, I want to call that. So I'm going to say answer is equal to calculate factorial and I'm going to pass in a uh, fact. Now I want to write out that to my label. So I'll do lb underscore answer dot text is equal to answer dot to string and then lb answer dot visible is equal to true. Now um, what this is based upon, you have to understand a little bit about factorial. By fact, 
5 factorial, for example, is equal to 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. So if I was cr uh, calculating 5 factorial, I'd be passing in 5 from a parameter. It'll start out with answer equals 1, and then x equals 1, and continue while x is less than or equal to a number, so I can just gonna continue through 5, and then I'll increase it after each loop. Now answer is equal to answer times x, so we'd have 1 times 1, which is a trivial case, I could actually start at a 2. And then it increases x by 1, so it's now 2, so then you got 1 times 2. And then it increases x again, so you, then you got your previous value of 1 times 2 times 3, and so forth. So let's, um, let's run this, I put 5 in here, click factorial, and that gives us 120. Now don't get upset if you're not like a math genius uh, when you're when you're going to programming. Um, you really just have to wrap your mind around algorithms. You don't have to be a math genius, but you need somebody maybe to explain uh, the process in solving a problem. I sometimes would sit down with accountants and I'd say exactly how is this code supposed to work? If we were doing it by hand, it show me how the, the program flow would go. And then I would program that in. I wouldn't have to be a, a business um, major to understand some of the processes that they had me program. I just would have to have them explain it um, as if I was doing it by hand. Anyway, that shows you how to create a factorial uh, method.